Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year again. That time of year where we say goodbye to the old and welcome in the new, hoping that next year will be better than this one. In the spirit of this, I posted on our community tab two questions. What was the one resolution you were able to keep in 2022? And what was one resolution you had for 2023? And that seriously got me thinking about what resolutions I had for 2022. I had to go back and rewatch my 2022 goals and resolutions video that I had posted on YouTube last year. You can check the description box below and hopefully it's in the right hand corner at the top. If you haven't seen it, you can go and check it. But to tell you the truth, we did not get to do any New Year's resolutions last year because of everything that was going on. You see, unbeknownst to anybody, my mother was going through a bad leg infection and I was fighting with her to try and get her to go to see a doctor. Stubborn as she was, she refused to go. She waited until the very last minute, which was around this time, I believe, last year, exactly a year ago, either today or tomorrow, December 28th as I'm filming. She ended up in the hospital the first time around. And she came back New Year's Eve. So she made it back in time. And as we all know, the beginning of January, around the 5th or 15th, she ended up back in the hospital again, there for a week. I documented that on our Instagram page, because thankfully I was able to post quite a few things on YouTube, I believe, well ahead of schedule. I think I was actually doing it while I was at the hospital with my mom, you know, while she was taking naps. But... This year is different. She's not in the hospital. She's doing much better. The only thing we're trying to fight with is staying warm after that Arctic blast. I'm praying that there's not going to be another one. Let's all hope that's one resolution Mother Nature can keep. No more Arctic air. But we didn't get to do resolutions last year. I think we're going to be doing some this year. I did mention in yesterday's video that you want to be watching this one because I may have an announcement for... 2023, a project video I want to do. Yeah, that project video is going to start around the 6th of January, the date of Epiphany. As you all know, January 6th in Louisiana is the start of what season? All together now, Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. That's right. One of our New Year's resolutions this year is to do our annual Mardi Gras virtual parade. Now, I don't have the entirety of the details together yet, but if you want to participate, stay tuned for future videos because I may have an all-in-one idea for you to send me your photos, or you can go ahead and do it the way we did last year and send them to our Instagram if you're following us on Instagram. Send them to us on Facebook Messenger if you're following us on Facebook. But I do have a an email that you can send the photos to if you want them in there. That's an all-in-one idea. I will post that email in the description box below. You can also find that email on our About section, I hope, on YouTube. It's there. Like I said, I don't have the full details ready yet. So stay tuned. A future video will give you all the details. It will be the announcement video coming out on January 6th. I will have the full video out with all the details on how you can participate. That will be our beginning of the year, our very first project video for 2023. And if I'm not mistaken, Ash Wednesday is on February 22nd. So that means between January 6th and February 22nd, we here at Duke and Lucky's Louisiana Tales are going to be collecting all your images, Mardi Gras photos that you sent us, putting them in a video that will appear on February 22nd. I don't have all of the details set and ready yet. That video will come out on the 6th of January. And if you want to be a part of it and want to see yourself in one of our videos, you're going to want to have 
all your notifications turned on. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Make sure you are following us on Facebook and Instagram as well because you're not going to want to miss out on that fun. We do that every year, or at least we attempt to do that every year. I think our biggest resolution for 2023 is to just start the year off as quietly as possible. You're still going to see a lot more vlogs. You're probably going to have a few more project videos. We may do the Easter parade again. It's all going to depend on what the weather does and what life throws at us this time. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't throw anything at us, but you never know, considering what 2022 was. <laughs> it may just try. I'm also thinking of doing two more videos on our Cajun culture. We've got two already. I might do two more and maybe do a few about Mardi Gras. If that's something you are interested in, leave a comment down below and I will try to re-edit the older videos as best as I can for YouTube. That way you can find a little bit more about how Louisiana celebrates Mardi Gras. Another plan that I have is maybe on Saturdays during the time of Mardi Gras and Lent up until Easter is doing a short that is Cajun word of the day or Cajun Creole word or phrase of the day, something like that. Let me know what you guys think about that if you'd like to try something like that. But I think I may do that during the whole entire Mardi Gras and Lent season. That might be fun. Let me know if you're interested in that. And as far as the rest of 2023 is concerned, you never know what's going to happen with us, with Duke, with Lucky. Just make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have the notifications turned on so that you can get every single video we will be putting out for 2023. I will soon have the 2023 diary playlist up and ready to accept videos. So when January 1st comes out, we'll be able to start posting our 2023 vlogs in there. And if there's any other types of videos that you'd like to see within reason, because remember, I can't drive, so I can't exactly go places to bring the dog and the cat for them to visit. I wish I could, but I can't. Let us know in the comments section and I will do my best to try and make those videos for you. That's something else we can do for 2023. But as far as visiting different places, that's probably not going to happen. So try to be as creative as you can where we can try to do those types of videos at home. We're going to call those viewer request videos and we'll also have a playlist for that. So stay tuned. You never know what you're going to see here on Duke and Lucky's Louisiana Tales. Remember to bring some joy, laugh and smiles on somebody's day, and we will see you next year. Later.